Hi folks, this is Jason. Hope you're okay today. We're looking at whether Jesus Christ is a fable or real history. Now, one of the great atheist thinkers of all time and one of the greatest philosophers of the 20th century, Bertrand Russell, said this about Jesus Christ. Historically, it is quite doubtful whether Christ ever existed at all. And if he did, we know nothing about him. Okay? Now, this kind of view is prevalent even today um, there's an atheist guy who runs a, a YouTube channel um, called Aaron Ra and he has come on my channel and made a couple of comments and he's basically said uh, not e exactly word for word but generally speaking he did use the word fable and used it twice um, and basically he's saying that Christ is a fable the life of Christ is a fable and basically agreeing with Bertrand Russell and this is widespread amongst atheists and, and it's just ridiculous even um, the self-professed agnostic uh, New Testament scholar who wouldn't agree with evangelicals on a number of things and would be willing to question certain things about the New Testament said this uh, Edie Sanders of Duke, Uni Duke University, one of the leading figures in the historical Jesus over the last three decades, says this, There are no substantial doubts about the general course of Jesus' life, when and where he lived, approximately, and where and when and where he died, and the sort of thing that he did during his public activity. I shall first offer a list of statements about Jesus that meet two standards. They are almost beyond dispute and they belong to the framework of his life and especially of his public career. Jesus was for, born um, 4 BCE near the time of the death of Herod the Great. He spent his childhood and early adult life in Nazareth, a Galilean village. He, baptized, he was baptized by John the Baptist. He, was called a he called disciples. He taught in towns, villages and countryside of Galilee, apparently not the cities. He preached the kingdom of God about the year 30. He went to Jerusalem for Passover. He created disturbance in the temple area. He had a final meal with the disciples. He was arrested, interrogated by Jewish authorities, specifically the high priest. He was executed on the orders of the Roman prefect, Pontius Pilate. And we may add here a short list of equally secure facts about the aftermath of Jesus' life. His disciples fled. They saw him in what sense is not certain after his death. As a consequence, they believed that he would return to the kingdom, to the found kingdom. They formed a community to await his return and sought to win others to faith in him as God's Messiah. Now, these are basic things that scholars agree with, right? And like one said, Sanders is a, a an agnostic. And yet, there is lots of factual information there that you can get your teeth into and think about. Okay, another example is um, Christopher Tuckett of University of Oxford, uh, author of the Cambridge University textbook on the historical Jesus. Tucker says, All this does at least render highly implausible any far-fetched theories that even Jesus' very existence was a Christian invention. The fact that Jesus existed, that he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, for whatever reason and that he had a band of followers who continued to support his cause seems to be part of the bedrock of historical tradition if nothing else the non-christian evidence can provide us with certainty the non-christian evidence can can provide us with cer certainty on that score so even those um, things that are outside the new testament Evidence is there like Tatticus and Josephus, etc. and others can give us evidence for the life of Christ. So that that's two world-class scholars. Now the third world-class scholar, scholar is Gerd Thyssen from Germany, leading Ger German New Testament historian and liberal skeptical uh, scholar. And he writes in quotes, The mention of Jesus in ancient historians Ally doubt about his, his sorry the mentions of Jesus in ancient historians ally doubt about his historicity, historicity. 
the notices about Jesus in Jewish and pagan writers, especially those in Josephus, the letter of Sarpion and Tatticus, indicate that in antiquity the historicity of Jesus was taken for granted, and rightly so, as two observations on the above mentioned sources below. The notices about Jesus are independent of one another. Three authors from different backgrounds utilize information about Jesus independently a Jewish aristocrat and historian, a Syrian philosopher and a Roman statesman and historian. All three know of the execution of Jesus but in different ways. Tatticus puts the responsibility on Pontius Pilate, Malabar Sapion on the Jewish people and the Testimonium Flavinium probably on a cooperation between the Jewish aristocracy and the Roman governor. The execution was offensive for any work worship of Jesus as a scandal it cannot be have been invented so those are three world-class scholars and what we gain from that is this is that when Aaron Ra and Bertrand Russell uh, say you know that when Aaron Ra says it's a fable Jesus life is a fable when um, Bertrand Russell uh, says that we can't know anything about Jesus' life. Um, even sceptical scholars, even the sceptical scholars, <laughs> disagree with them and say that there is factual information that we, we know about the life and death and resurrection of Christ. Whether we are conservative evangelicals or not, uh, there are some basic facts that we can all investigate and come to some conclusions and it certainly is not on the level level of fable it's a million miles away from that so Aaron Ra I'm sorry but you you have no intellectual credibility whatsoever I, I honestly feel on this issue and I mean this with all sincerity but dealing with you on this issue I feel like I'm a uh, a grandmaster at chess and I'm playing a pigeon at chess that's how it feels playing with you on this issue because you've not come up with any argument not any no scholarship no nothing and uh, you know you, you're completely blown out of the water and the atheists can say all that they want to say about how brilliant you are with evolution and all the factual information and they can throw their personal attacks upon me but at the end of the day you entered the arena, you made two statements about that this was all about, Jesus was all about being a fable and you've been completely demolished and destroyed. And you know something? You didn't even come and actually give us any evidence whatsoever which is even more disgraceful. Uh, the sources for this, this, these three scholars are page 188 and 189 of guess what gunning for god by john lennox uh, guess what a professor of mathematics at oxford and one of the eminent scholars in britain today okay published by lion and page 188189 you see aaron Ra evangelicals deal deal with things in a scholarly way you have entered this arena on this subject and you have shown yourself completely unable to grapple with this t topic unable to grapple with the issue and not only you but also the atheist community and you're a disgrace and the atheist community are in disgrace okay you've not shown yourself in a good light nor have you atheists I'm sorry to say. Thank you for listening and God bless. Uh, yeah. Uh, when are the academic debates coming, atheist? Just asking. It's been a long, long time. Take care and God bless you. We do things properly by, by good scholarship. Now you sort yourselves out, atheist. Get your act together because I tell you, like I said, I feel like I'm a grandmaster playing against pigeons on this issue of uh, scholarship and the and the the historical 
uh, re reliability of the New Testament, the historical veracity of who Christ is, and this nonsense that Bertrand Russell and uh, Aaron Ra and people today on YouTube from the atheist community are pumping is just diabolical. Thank you for listening and God bless you.